clean up on aisle four. Just kidding. It's an aisle four uproar. And don't worry, I'll never do that again. This is Chris with Platinum Reviews. We're back with some more Funko Fusion. Right off the start of this level, you're going to see that chest right off to the right. And you're going to see some amber in the store off to the left. Now, we're doing aisle four uproar. This is one of the hot fuzz levels. There's a lot of stuff in this level. So just be ready and be just be excited. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to have a goose go ahead and grab some music because he's sad. And we're going to have to be grabbing multiple geese and move them over to this egg. So when you move the first goose over, it'll get a little crack. We have two more geese to grab. So uh, we're going to be doing that. There's a lot of little things in this level too. So, you know, just uh, good luck. Um, <laughs> It's nothing too crazy. We do actually get Chucky for the first time in this level as well. Uh, we're going to get somebody who has fire ability, child from the thing works, and we're going to bring him into the diner and burn the ice. This actually took me a while. I don't know why it took me a while, but the ice wasn't like burning when I was hitting it. And I was like, okay, cool. But you're trying to get the music to stop. Uh, the reason why is we're trying to get the goose to come over to some new music. So go ahead and grab the record player and say, hey, come on, goose. Come on, little goosey, and he's going to follow you to the egg, and that'll be part two. Uh, this part, I was kind of confused on because the egg, you'll notice the top actually falls off and you see the chest. So I was like, well, don't show me the chest and not uh, let me get you. But uh, yeah, you have one more goose to get, so we're going to do that. Now, there are some bananas to collect in this level. That is number one, and I didn't know the bananas were the collectible for a while because when I shot that, the number didn't pop up. Uh, because I chose to play as Freddy, I guess. Uh, behind the exploded house is going to be number two. And then in here, uh, in the garage, is going to be the battle chest. Uh, yeah, there is the third one as well, the third banana. Uh, I'll show you the location of it. I had to replay the level just to get it to show up. When you go into the supermarket, you're fighting the boss of the area and uh, he can sometimes destroy the banana. So you don't actually know that you've destroyed the banana because he did it for you. So just to kind of keep a lookout, if you go into the supermarket and you don't see it, good chances that the enemy destroyed it. And that's why I didn't get a video of it being destroyed by myself. Uh, we're going to be shooting the enemy and collecting his uh, weapon part. And then uh, we're bringing it back over here. That is the weapon part for the level. A lot of the levels do have an enemy that is glowing red. That enemy is going to drop the weapon prototype, which is going to allow you to grab the item. Uh, in here, we're going to uh, shoot that guy that decides to never stop following us. We're going to destroy these boxes and you're going to notice a Foxo body part. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, from here, we're going to grab an amp and we're going to bring it to the window inside of the police station. Now, when you do go ahead and grab the amp, uh, you are going to have to swap your character. You can be anybody from Scott Pilgrim, Marty McFly, does not matter. Just somebody who can play some tunes. Uh, so we're going to switch over to Steven Stills because, you know, I don't ever give him love. It's all about Scott Pilgrim. So uh, we're going to give Steven some love and uh, we're going to play some tunes on that and grab what is behind the glass, which happens to be another goose. This is the third goose we need. There's nothing inside of there, so don't worry. So uh, go ahead and grab. You can either craft a new vinyl player from here, uh, which you, if you want to, or you can come over here. And uh, my suggestion is to switch to the Dilophosaurus because he is quick. He's fast. Uh, we're going to grab the record player that is over here, run back over there. As you can see, when he is carrying an object, it is still faster than if somebody is not carrying a car uh, object and running. So I just try to use a Dilophosaurus a lot because he's just, he makes things faster. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the goose. I almost said the goose. And we're going to bring him over to the egg. And uh, that should be it to open up the egg all the way and allow us to get the chest. And for some reason, uh, the triangle button was like, nah, I'm not going to work on you. Now, whoever decided to make the collectible object of this level yellow, uh, I don't know why you did it, because there's a glowing yellow object around the bananas, and it just makes it to where you can't see where they are. Uh, you can see what they are, but if you don't know that you're looking for a banana, it can sometimes blend in and make it to where it's like, well, what am I doing? Uh, from here, we're going to be going and collecting the Funko switches. So grab the... 
uh, jump pad throw it over here I would suggest grabbing this one first because it does involve a little bit of extra work grab that run inside and grab this one again anytime you do the Funko switches be the Dilophosaurus because he is so much quicker uh, we're gonna grab the fourth one right there and then right along here is going to be where the chest is which is gonna net us another one of those beautiful silver crowns in here as you can see that is number three for the banana technically that is number four but uh yeah we uh we already had the bananas destroyed and now that i think about it no i did not yeah i did all right cool yeah that's the banana you might have a second video of a banana getting destroyed yeah there we go all right so number four uh from here we're going to kill all the enemies if you can and uh i i would try probably try and do this after destroying all the enemies so you don't have to worry about them attacking you but in here is going to be a kfc chicken bucket go ahead and destroy that for the bucket of the level uh we are going to have the last of the bananas right here that'll be number five and then right next to that is the chest that we can redeem for the silver crown for the banana collectibles all right, from here, we're going to be grabbing an amp. And you might be wondering, what are we going to do with the amp? Well, there is another chest right here. The good thing is you don't have to travel far to swap your characters. So swap to anybody who can play music. Play that funky music, white boy, and shoot, uh, shoot it up. And we're going to grab the chest with another silver crown. After that, we are going to be hopefully pretty close to six. That uh, You need 60,000 vinyl to uh, collect the last silver crown but if you are running low on it my suggestion is to come in and do the chucky mission because you're going to be getting vinyl from doing the chucky stuff anyways so might as well knock that out first uh we're going to grab the access card and we're going to bring it over here now chucky chucky's a jerk uh, i'm just going to say that now i've never seen a chucky movie in my life because i don't watch scary movies because uh, i'm a punk but uh apparently chucky likes to play games and those games involve your emotions so uh you're going to come in here and uh you can ignore all that and run in here and you're going to see the Chucky warehouse. Uh, there is going to be some computer monitors that you have to access. This was incredibly easy. You just have to move it over. And uh, this one was kind of cool because it was a little bit different than the other ones. The other ones are, you know, one switch and you just bring them along. This one was accessing multiple switches. So I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to talk to Chucky. Chucky's going to be like, come find me. Uh, but first we have to shoot him up. So uh, we're going to shoot him up here. Uh, he's not too terrible terribly difficult he just runs a lot so as you can see you start shooting him and he's immediately gone i would suggest anybody who's fast uh the dilophosaurus works just because since chucky is so quick this makes it to where uh you have a good chance at uh taking him out so uh yeah we're gonna shoot him you'll see a timer go off too when you get to about 10 seconds left uh so it lets you know exactly where he is if he does happen to find oh good hiding spot or something along that lines it'll let you know where he is now from here we can just go ahead and leave the area he's not in here i actually had to do this uh two times because actually three times uh because i thought he was in that same room he's not so you're gonna go ahead and leave the supermarket completely and uh hook a left you're gonna see the dumpster moving and that's because he's in there uh you could try and shoot him here but it always seems to miss no matter what uh he stabs you and then you can go ahead and light him up again he's not too hard uh he's just really really quick so uh that's going to be the second part go ahead and defeat him and tell him to stop running away from me because uh, i don't play that the nice thing is after you knock out these cameo quests uh you're going to see this uh chest or this uh dumpster over here so that's going to be part three of the chucky thing the nice thing is after you unlock the cameo quest line with chucky he will appear in other worlds so my suggestion is to unlock him first before going and exploring other worlds uh do the same thing with megan do the same thing with voltron and do the same thing with knight rider because if you're trying to 100 percent a world and then you can't because you didn't do the cameo quest it just makes things more complicated so uh do this i would do this level before trying to knock out any of the other worlds that has chucky in it so uh yeah we're gonna be shooting him again and then he disappears again where could he be well 
he is at the last dumpster. There might be another dumpster in the world, but I think this is the only other one. And it's going to be right over to the left. You're going to be seeing the dumpster move. Go ahead and go to it and uh, defeat him one more time. As I said before, I stayed back and tried to shoot him. Uh, it wasn't until he stabbed me that I could actually do any damage. So uh, go ahead and knock him off really quick. Talk to him and he's going to be like, yo, D-bag and uh, disappear so uh, he'll give you a weapon part for that so go ahead and grab the weapon part and bring it back to the location uh, from here we're pretty much almost done I think there's only one more collectible after this so uh, we'll we'll do a quick plug really quick uh, thank you for watching all the videos you guys are being been awesome uh, I do have a review of Funko Fusion so you can definitely watch that give me your thoughts on Funko Fusion are you liking it are you hating it and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel I'm going through every single video I've completed the game so now we're just going to be steamrolling all of these videos as you can see that's all the collectibles Thank you so much for watching. This is Chris with Platinum Reviews. I will catch you on the next video.